I am a year two teacher, so I teach six and seven year olds at a school in Red Hill. We've been working on, first of all, the Fire of London in 1666 in history, which is something the children have really got their teeth into this term. They've learnt about the historical context of the fire and also the significance of the way that buildings were built and how the city was constructed and how that how that led to the fire being so destructive. They also looked at some eyewitness statements, particularly from Samuel Pepys, which tied in with our English as well, because they've been uh, writing their own eyewitness statements for their report writing. It's also been a really useful vehicle for us to teach them science, so it's tied in with our work on materials. So they're looking at the changes, uh, the, the, how materials change when they're subjected to things like heat. So obviously watching a fire burn down some houses that they've made in DT is going to um, really bring that to life for them. In the classroom with some of the Year 2 children, I asked them whether they had enjoyed the Fire of London project. Yes. 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 What have you enjoyed about it? When <laughs> the, the house started burning. <laughs> I liked it when we made the Tudor houses. I liked it when it burned down because when the fire go ooh, ooh. So what have you been doing in class? You made these houses with junk modelling. We learnt more about the Great Fire of London. And what happened with the Great Fire of London? It started at a bakery shop. It, and so it started in Thomas, Lane. So Thomas Farriner, Pudding Lane. He Hunter. forgot to put his oven out, so his house caught on fire. He hid on and the roof it, and the fire spread. And it spread and then, so quickly because the houses were close together. Old Peter... <laughs> you went Samuel Pepys? Yeah, Samuel yeah, he Peeps. wrote a diary. What did you enjoy about making your houses? I like when we wrapped the paper around it. I like when we put the roofs and when we wrapped the boxes. I like when you, I also like <laughs> I when, the when my house was actually made from a rabbit food box. I like drawing the windows. Drawing the bolts on the doors. So we are now in the playground and a caretaker is just about to set fire to the model buildings. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Right, the houses in the middle are down. The ones on either side are still waiting to burn, but the fire, oh, the wind's just blown it, and it is now spreading. Just waiting for a few on the right-hand side now. What have you learned from this? Wood catches fire easily and the wind can make fires bigger and, and make and, fu fires and, spread. Yeah, I learned that too. Because they were so <laughs> close together. That's right, they were very Me. close together. And they right. can burn Me. easily. I just wanted to say that I learned that paper done. and cardboard can turn to soot. <laughs> it started on Sunday and ended on uh, Thursday. The, the fire spread close to the Tower of London at, and burnt down the St. Paul's Cathedral, even though it was made of stone. How do you think the people would have felt back then to see those their houses burning down? Sad and homeless. These were just paper houses, but how would you feel if that happened to your house? Scared. Happy. Me I would too. cry. What number, if there is an emergency or a fire, what number do we call? 911! Where do you call 911? In America, That's USA! Right. Would you like to do something like this project again? Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Uh, why would you like to do it again? For what because reasons? Because it's fun. I don't want to burn it down. Yes! I want to. I, I want to keep it in my bedroom. <laughs>
They're currently in the classroom drawing up their before and after photos. So they have some photographs of, of the fire actually happening now that they've come back and they're making some really careful scientific observations uh, to show that they understand what's happened. I think it's been a great project simply because it's tied in so many elements that we're looking at in the classroom at the moment. So we've got DT where we actually built the houses and designed them first and we've evaluated those. You've got the history because we're working on a significant event in our country's history and also with science because they're looking at materials. So it's all pulled together and they seem really enthralled by it.